Let's talk about Tacoma mods. What is going on today guys? Welcome to this episode. I wanna talk about some of the mods I have on my truck. It's been a hot minute since I've talked about what I've done to the truck and I keep spending money on it. So I wanna talk about the updates I got. So we're gonna start with the bottom and work our way up. Starting at the bottom, I got Method 312 wheels. I have these wrapped in Falcon Wild Peaks. These tires are 36570 R17. They do really well starting at the bottom. Working our way up, we're gonna talk about suspension. We have Bilstein 5100s, and on the front, I have the TRD Off-Road Springs. They work really well, way better than stock TRD Sport Springs. I love the way these perform. On the back, I got Bilstein 5100s on the back. Then I did an Adelief, and the Adelief is a torch two and a half to three inch Adelief. Uh, it settled a little bit, with the tent and whatnot. So it's sitting about right now all together. My lift is sitting about two and a half, almost three inches, right in, in there. And it looks great. I'm loving the way this whole setup is coming together and it's performing really well off road. So as you can see here, these are my Method 312s wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak tires. They look goddamn good, don't you think? The next mod I want to talk about is underneath my truck. This is some armor I put on. I need some more but I'm kind of poor. So for right now, I got the running for taco, lower control arm armor. I don't know how I feel about this. This armor kind of has some issues. Um, the powder coat's already kind of chipped off and started the rust. I know that's common, but you know, I just don't like looking at the rust spots, but it's not a big deal. I think these look cool and you know, they protect my lower control arm. My next mod are my ditch lights. These are the last bit three inch LED ditch pods. These are the high performance variant, so they have two Sport and HP models. They sent me these, awesome company, thank you, but they are super bright. These are 36 watts. I'm gonna turn them on for you right now. See how bright they are? I'm impressed. Are you impressed? Cause I'm impressed. I love these lights. They work great on the off-road trails at night when you wanna see. These are floods, so you can see all kinds of stuff when you're out and about. The next mod we're gonna talk about on my truck as we move our way up is my window tent. Now, it only cost me $85 to have these front windows tinted because I only did the front windows and I had them tint matched to the back and I think it looks great. Let me show you if you can see me on the inside. Oh, hey guys. Could you see me? I could see you. So my next mod I want to talk about is this switch for the ditch lights. I think it's really important to have a proper switch when you're doing things to your truck because it just looks OEM and looks good. Yeah, so that's the lens. This is the switch I got right off of Amazon. I think it's important to have a proper lens. I installed it right here in the panel because I already had this spot open and it just kind of looks OEM. If you, do you agree? I think it looks OEM and it just works really good with the truck. Always invest in proper switches to give that truck a nice OEM look. On to the next mod is in the interior as well. The center consoles in these trucks leave a lot to be desired. So I got two organization kind of mods off of Amazon. So the top part right here goes on the first part of the organization. And you know, I just kind of have my knife here, um, some random paperwork. My wallet usually sits up here and some change. So this just comes right out like this and you can have all these little cubby holes inside this. I usually have a flashlight in here, um, just some random stuff, uh, sometimes a concealed carry, you know, whatever I need to put in here. It's really nice and organ organized. So this is the organization I was talking about. I got all these little cubby holes. Works really great and helps you keep your truck really organized. On to the next interior mod. I got this AI box light. I did a video about this a few weeks ago, but I'm gonna just mention it because it's another mod I have on my truck. This gives me wireless Android Auto right on to the head unit in the Toyota. Works really good. I hate dealing with wires, so I just kind of stick this right in there and as soon as I hop in the truck and turn it on, my phone automatically connects and I have Android Auto up on the screen. About 40 seconds, really awesome. One of my favorite mods in the truck and has totally made my life with the truck so much better. Moving on to the next mod as we work our way up my truck, we got the Victory 4x4 bed rack. This rack is freaking amazing. Honestly, for the price I paid for this and the shipping, awesome company. 
And you know, I had a few questions when I was installing this and putting the tent on. I reached out to them, they got right back to me, explained how I could set it up with this tent because the rails are a little bit different than how it should be. So I love this company, love this rack. I think it looks great on the truck and it gives me a ton of chances to mount different things. I'm going to get a mod on the other side that's from the same company that allows me to mount my mountain bike right onto the side of this so I don't have to put them in the bed anymore. It's gonna be awesome. And check out their logo. I think this looks awesome the way they have this laser cut in. Really cool feature and it kind of makes it set up a little bit different than the competition. Love this bed rack. It's not really a mod, but I did mount my roto packs here to the side of this bed rack with the roto packs um, mount. Folded right up super easy. Not a crazy mod, but it's something I did in my truck and I wanted to mention it. The next mod I want to talk about is all the way at the top of my truck. This is my rooftop tent. This is a body armor 4x4 rooftop tent. Probably one of the cheapest ones that you can get, but it does not spare any expense in build quality. This thing rocks. We use it all the time. It comes apart, opens up super easy. Everything works really good on this. I've been more than happy. Ashley's been more than happy. The mattress, super comfortable. I'm gonna clip to a video real quick of it opened up on our last camping trip. You can also watch the video, but here you go. Check out this clip of it being opened. I skipped the mod when we made it up to the top. I'm sorry, but looking in the bed of my truck, I got the running for tacos bed support brackets. Uh, I made a video on this. I don't know if they're necessary, but with the added weight for my tent and my roof rack and what I'm gonna put in the truck, it just makes me feel better when I'm off-roading to have some extra support so my bed doesn't split in half. Made a video on this too. Check it out. I'll put a card up. The next one is the bed mat. My truck didn't come with this bed mat. Got it on Amazon for like $70. Honestly, I think if you don't have one of these, you should get one. Everything I put in my bed now sticks exactly where I put it. Off-roading, it just stays there. So I'm not having stuff slide around banging against my bed. Really nice, good thing to have. Check it out. If you're enjoying this video, please hit like, drop a sub, helps me know that I'm making good videos. Hit that bell notification if you wanna get notified when I drop videos. It is every Monday and every Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now I got a lot more stuff I have to do to this truck over the course of however long I'm gonna have this truck, probably forever, but I got a lot more I wanna do. Next up, I gotta do some tires like I already mentioned. I wanna get a roof rack. Basically, I'm gonna just keep spending money on this truck and recording it. Thank you for watching this video. If you wanna see any more videos, like a cool camping video of me using that tent, check out this one, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.